Welcome back to the channel. I really hope fantastic day because I'm having a good day myself. I've got plenty of packs to open right now. I just want to say I got these packs. This is going to be a bit of a standalone. I might add this on to one of the episodes to be fair because these packs are just from doing the SPCs and doing the objectives. Now you do the objectives by just attrition. You're just playing the game. You're unlocking them as you go. Doing squad battles, doing online games, doing rivals. Also, if you do bronze pack method like I'm doing, as I say, I've, just, I've left some spots free for some dupe golds that I'm going to be getting just now. But if you do this in terms of selling these for minimum 200, and they do sell eventually, especially, I'm still, the game is officially out for me in terms of the 24th. I'm seeing a lot more buying as well. More people come on the game, more people have to buy the bronzes. Do bronze pack method yourself. You don't have to worry about fitness ever again unless you're doing what I'm doing in terms of running two teams as well as if you're doing bronze pack, you just store all the fitness cards you get as well as you're absolutely fine for terms of SPCs and when you don't need an overall rating, you should have plenty of players you're just sending to the club that you don't need to send. But we've got plenty of packs for us, let's do it. We'll go with the weakest one first. Let's go with a mixed player pack. As I say, these were either from the like the basic nations SBC or the weekly objectives that I've been grinding over the last few days. Any sort of special cards are greatly appreciated. It's a special card. It's Perrin, very useful. See if I need my city acid, I'm gonna make a city acid. He'll probably be my goalkeeper. He had a massive downgrade though, Jesus. Like, re eh, the one rare of my team was Perrin. How good is his card? I like his stats. I'm a bit worried because he's quite quick and stuff. I reckon he'll be six foot some two, less than that. He's six foot two, yeah. So again, just by, they never give a goalkeeper who's really tall a lot of speed, except for David De Gea, who is going to be the best goalkeeper from the, from the start. Let's have a look. Maybe all black as well when you look at him, but I think he's six foot two if I ring a bell. Uh, what's the next kind of worst one? Free common player? Yeah, do that. then we'll give whatever we have. But thanks for being here. Hopefully you're excited. I'll show you the team before we go as well. But any sort of... Well, these are going to be common. It doesn't really matter. Zabala are useful for SPCs. I won't sell them because, to be honest, golds are going for nothing. This is the time to buy before everyone starts panicking and having a freak out. But yeah, good nations. Yes, I respect that. Janssen. I remember when he was at Spurs. Funny enough. But hey... A lot more to do on FIFA. Hey, we've got these free premium. We'll go with premium. Yeah, free one go. It doesn't matter which one we go with. Hey, any sort of rare players are useful for SPCs here. I like the walker. I haven't really got used to the whole animation, so I think that means I'm getting a rare at least. Uh, it's a rare. Okay. Uh, then we get the icon. We pack an icon. I can put that in the title. I'm joking, chat. But hey, useful for SPCs. Let's have a look at his card. Because I must admit, pace is king this year. It is. If you have pacey players, it's worth having. Um, and we got another pack as well, that's really good. 6 foot 4. Has he always been 6 foot 4? Has, he all, has, has Drew always been 6 foot 4? I don't know, but his shooting's nice. It's, he's not got the stam, I know. So, nah, nah, nah. Was he 4 star? No, he's 3 star. Nah, nah, he's actually unusable this year. Like, the year before, he actually, you could argue. There was an argument to be made for Drew last year. I don't need fitnesses, so I just discard them. And I'm not about wasting my spade spell. Let's do the unlimited. Lone player. Let's see what we get for lone player, guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, same Dutch pepper I'm drinking before. I'll just try to buy that in bulk. Mm. Mm. Chiellini. Be nice if I can get a Chiellini on seven loans. Oh, Bonucci, mate. Let's see if his pace is that bad. I know it's 56. Eight there. But let's have a look see how bad. Because you can put, if he's got good work rates, you might need to worry about it. Good work rates, okay? And yeah, it's very. I was the thing I was wanting was making sure they were quite close together. I didn't want him to have like four A sprint speed and seven A acceleration because then he's really only accelerating fast up to forty. If that makes sense. But yeah, that card looks nice. I'll actually keep that. And why did I send all that to the club? I should have discarded half of it. But anyway, come on, more. Give us more. Give me more. Give me more. Tell me when you guys are getting your starter packs because I know a lot of you guys have pre-ordered the kind of edition that gets you on the twenty fourth. So let me know what you're getting. Oh, fuck. I'm waiting for the day that I can see a flag, but hey, that's a good card for SBCs, or even they probably sell a bit when the game officially comes out on the 27th, I believe. But hey, it's early access just now, but it's like unlimited early access, so I can do my trading on the console. I like the console, playing on the console better. Rangers, I'll keep that as you. That's a nice kit, I might switch that, to be fair. I'm a Scottish guy, I like Rangers and Celtic. I'm not a massive fan of either, to be fair, but they're the two main teams in Scotland. So if I got a, if I got a Celtic kit, I'll probably equip that and have a Rangers Celtic kit just for the banner. I've switched my badge up with stuff because I'll show you and I'll show you after this pack. But after this, we're running now though, you know. I'll be happy. 
Wow, 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 wow. It's still a useful card. We can get a strong link with that centre back we got because it's the same Spanish league club. And hey, we're getting Mexican players, French players. It's useful. It's useful to an extent, which I like. And these are so valuable at the start of the game because you're going to need these for SPCs. I wouldn't, when you're starting again, I wouldn't be putting chem styles on your players. Like you should be unlocking a lot of hunters and a lot of um, maybe some shadows, maybe some anchors and stuff by attrition. Just basically doing the playing the game. Don't be using them though. Keep them. Keep them for when you get your higher rated squads. But yeah, this is where I'm getting some of the packs from. You get them from your daily objectives, which you like. You're just grinding them. I'm doing all that. You're friendly to friendlies. Look at that. I'm grinding the squad battle one. I'm doing all that. You also get it from, have a look, these. It's like a sort of Fortnite season pass. But you don't have to pay for this one. It's just a season one, right? I'm on level seven. I am well excited. And you get packs. You get another. I'll go for the floral print because I went for the floral badge, right? And you get a Minecraft ball. Really, I love it. But and we get some loans that'll be very useful. Nothing major to report. The only thing really good about this, to be fair, as well as the packs, is this thing at the end. I don't know why he needs a contract, but hey, Wilfred Zaha, I'm well excited to unlock. He's the one I want because it's not just Wilfred Zaha. You will notice you can option one. You could go with a Taliso. He's very nice. He looks very good. Very good. What was his weak foot? He's free stuff. Free stuff. It's annoying. And then this guy who I have got, he's four star. Four star. He's excellent. And he might work better for my team. I don't know, chat. That's a tough one. See, when the time comes, it's between... Matters if I'm still running the... I know I'll be still running the Prem team. And I'm going to have Puki. And having Puki and Zaha might be just excellent. But then that's two players with freestyle weak foot up front. You see? And I'm already using the goal version of Vasquez. So, just getting a four-point upgrade on his card may be very good. And it is... Makes his card... He's, 80 gang in all the important places in 97 stand, this guy. And he's high-low. Oh, I think I might go with Vasquez, funny enough, for the team. I'll show you the team before we go as well, guys. But that, packs, not too bad. We haven't had any major things. The Prem team is by far the best. See how people are going to be like, oh my god, the Premier League players are so expensive. You shouldn't go with them. And I didn't change who was up front with Puki. It's this guy called Jimenez or something like that, just because his card looked excellent over Origi. Prem players have that special sauce. See where it's like icons. You can even if you had a lower end icon, he still felt amazing. He played amazing. Premier League seems to play good as well. Cause I would argue my you can kind of picture my um, uh, Santander team here as well with a striker, centre back, left wing, right wing. There's my Van Vanquist. So it's a massive improvement on his base card. That card that might be getting eighty five. They just have that special something because I would argue that Jovic should be as good as even as Jimenez and he's not. He just isn't. Like you look at those stats, he has low balance, but then he has okay stam, okay physical. If I had, a, if I wanted to waste a chem style on him, and it is a waste because he's 80 rated, I'd probably want to upgrade him eventually. I would put a hawk on him because you just pace, shooting, and physical. The important stuff for a striker and his def dribbling's okay. The reason he's got that bad defending is because he's six foot two and high high. I like him four star weak foot. Wow, and I don't use skills too much, especially against the AI. Peaky though, Jesus Christ, he is actually so good. Like you, you feel it. His stats are just excellent. They really are. He just he, the way he plays is bang on. He has everything that you want in terms of your good stamina. When he gets the ball, you're confident that he can do it. Like a lot of these teams I'm coming against in squad battles. I'll show you right now. Uh, da, 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 so. A lot of these teams I'm coming against in squad battles. Like I'm just refreshing it as I go. Have. Awful teams like this, right? But then they have that secret. Van Dijk in there. And Van Dijk is an... He's probably the best player I've seen on the pitch. In terms of AI controlled and all that. He's excellent. But even Pookie can beat him. Which is insane in terms of... He has the strength to kind of shoulder barge him and go around him. And that's the way they are. So I recommend doing that Pookie so much. He's an excellent card. If you get someone from the packs, good, good. There's probably the next squad battles game. Like, here we go again. Yeah, Van Dijk. And you know that person hasn't got Van Dijk. He's just using the loan, right? And the, and he has the he probably doesn't have Vingers Junior because he's using the loan as well, but one Yama is another one. I was looking at Van Yama, but he's got low stamp, so I'm like nah. Any other players I'm thinking are little gems. Like he's using Giroud, so he'll be slow as anything. This guy looks Wilson. Nah, he's low stamp, low stamp, and he's not got four. He got three star weak foot. Redman looks okay, but he's not got the weak foot. He's not got the weak foot. Nah, nah, nah. A lot. Even these players will be expensive at the time of the game. How good is he? Don't like his pace. But I like everyone else about him, to be fair. And like, as long as he's above six foot two, with that balance, I'll be happy. Six foot one. But I like his work rate, don't like his weak foot. 
Cahill is still... I don't, was he in the game last year? I never even saw him last year. 6 foot 4. And yes, that is an awful card. That is like beyond shit. I think really bad. <laughs> really bad. But yeah, drop a like, drop a comment, drop a subscribe. That's my team looking like. Tell me what your team's looking like. Look, bronze man. Just in the time we're talking, I just re relisted these, right? 200, yeah, but 200. That pays for a pack. And out of those two packs that I would have got for those two players, I would have had another two other ones. Because no matter what, when you open, this is the bronze pack method in a nutshell. I've got six slots free, so I'll go, well, no matter what, in these... Oh, look at that, freak out. I'm used to the app you see at the moment. So 400 coins, you only stay on the 400 because you're going to get in free cards. It doesn't even matter if they're rare or not. Minimum, okay? What matters is that when you get these cards, you just list them all, even if they're basic bitch, 200s and fit them 100. There you go, I got free this time, which is fun. So I just won't, I won't, I'll keep one card back. And we've got 100 coins, so wow, that pays for 25% of the pack already. Let's have a look at how much he's worth. 200, so he's worth nothing, but I put him on 100, 200, and if I keep having to relist him and he's not selling, I just send him to the club. And there's a trick to sending people to the club, right? What you do is, you don't have to go through your trade pal method like crazily and just have to keep list. Send to the club, send to the club to every single player. There's a quick way to do it, and it still works this year, right? All you do is, when you're doing like, oh, oh, because they're all live. Like, assume this guy has went round the bend a couple of times. I've relisted them maybe four or five times for one hour, and he hasn't sold. And I've just opened the bronze pack, got to this stage where I've got a load of things I'm going to discard, but then a load of things I've listed up. All I do is go up and I push this guy down to keep items, and I can do it to all these ones that are that argue these guys aren't listed. Okay, these are just sitting there ready either to get relisted again or sent to club, and I just push them all back down to this point. You can really go by twenty at a time, so you can send twenty players back to your club at a time, and it's excellent. It's just perfectly fine. That's how you do it. Easy peasy bronze pack method. A little bronze pack method there and there because I want to make sure you guys are using the most of your coins because I want to say. Me getting that Marcus Rashford at the start of the game was good because it gave me a £70,000 cash influx to get my team. But just grinding the bronze pack method has given me this cash influx to do the SBCs, which is hopefully going to get me something. It hasn't paid off yet, but it is in terms of it's given me lots of fitness cards, giving me lots of contracts, giving me lots of um, um, healing, even though I've noticed my, none of my players have been hurt yet, which is quite interesting. We got another player just sold. What, what just sold? This guy sold for 200. Excellent. Excellent. I should, I should, there's some players I probably need to lower the price, but it's okay. But drop a like, drop a comment, drop a subscribe. Tell me what your starting team's looking like. Are you going to run Prem? Because it is going to be expensive at the start of the game. But I want to say, from me using my Prem team to my Liga Santander team, it's night and day. Prem team is better. Even though you would argue maybe the overall ratings aren't. Which is quite interesting. It's just they feel better. And really focus on the players that have the good work rates and the good weak foots. And the good pace. Okay, because pace is king. But if they have good weak foots and stuff, you're confident with them and they, they seem to dribble well. Having that pace dribble, I would argue, is even more important this year than it was last year. And I would say that those are the two stats you should focus on when you're looking for midfielders and attackers, pace and dribbling. Because they seem to most players seem to have the same sort of shooting, even though there, there is a, the shooting stat is there, but it just doesn't seem like it matters too much. Keeping the ball on the ground seems to be the thing for taking shots, I've noticed. But hey, little tips and tricks. Thanks for being here, guys. Drop a like, drop a comment, drop a subscribe. Episode 5 or 6, can't remember. I think it'll be 6 right now. I'm waiting for that one to watch player to get released. I assume it's going to happen when the full game releases on when the one to watch player is actually released. You're going to get that pack because I pre-ordered this back in like when it first got pre-ordered out. And that's what you get if you ordered it before. I think it was the 5th of August this year. You got a one to watch player. So if I could get a Jolington, St. Maximin, or then of course the main dogs, I like the Hazards, the Griezmanns. It would be nice. But... I'm keeping realistic. Give me a Prem one. It would be nice just for the Prem team. But if you give me a Liga Santander one as well. But thanks for being here, guys. Drop a like, drop a comment, drop a subscribe. Tell me how you're all doing. And have a good one, guys. Peace.